How are you feeling now? Good. Fine. Back at work. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant. And there was this issue of an outstanding loan. Can I stop you for a second? I don't know where this story is going. But there are a few ethical ground rules we should quickly get out of the way. What you tell me here falls under doctor-patient confidentiality. Except if I was, uh, if I was to hear, let's say, a, a murder was to take place. Not that I'm saying it would, but if. If a patient comes to me and tells me a story where someone's going to get hurt, I'm supposed to go to the authorities. Technically. You said you were in waste management. The environment. Dr. Cusimano, besides being your family physician, is also your next door neighbor. See what I'm saying? I don't know what happened with this fellow. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Nothing. We had coffee. Darn, these laser discs are incredible. Wow, an Tony watches Godfather 2 all the time. He says the camera work looks just as good as in the movie theater. Ah, Gordon Willis. Tony prefers two, not one? Yeah, he likes the part where Vito goes back to Sicily. Three was like, what happened? <laughs> where does Tony rank Goodfellas? You know, my cousin Gregory's girlfriend is what they call a development girl out in Hollywood, right? She said I could sell my life story, make fucking millions. I didn't do that. I stuck it out with you. Oh, yeah. Fucking kill you. What are you gonna do? Go ahead and kill on me now? How many mobsters are selling screenplays and screwing everything up? She said I could maybe even play myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Forget Hollywood screenplays. Forget those distractions. Huh? What do you think? I have in that office? People like him are the reason Italian Americans have such a bad image. I agree. Ask any American to describe an Italian American in this country, invariably he's going to reference The Godfather, Goodfellas. Good movies. And the rest are going to mention pizza. Good movies to eat pizza by. Twenty-nine. There you go, big guy. Hey, Gino. What can I get you? He's some, um... Whoa, whoa, number 34, right here. He was in mine, man. He just went out to go get gas in his car. Oh, so I could go out, fuck your sister, come back Saturday, I go to the front of the line? I said he could. Hey, poppin' fresh, I'm in no fucking mood today. I'm next. Now get a fucking pastry box. Gino, what can I get you? Oh! It's all right, Doug. You let him go first. Nah, you don't make the rules here. All right, let me have uh, two new Paulin loaves. You touch uh... a single fucking crust, you're gonna wish you took that job at McDonald's. Fuck you. Okay, take a walk. For my bread. You come back in 10 minutes. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Come on. Come on, get up. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is it? What is it? Do I look like a pussy to you? No. I'm serious. Be honest. I won't get mad. No. No. So why the fuck would you give me a hard time and talk to me like I'm nothing to worry about? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Get a pastry box. Move it! That's better. Now fill it with cannoli, schwiedel, and napoleons. Time you see my face, show some respect. I will. 
<laughs> you motherfucker! You shot my foot! It happens. Ah, you fucking asshole! <laughs> My name is Chris McAviti. I work on Wall Street. Uh, not on Wall Street, but, you know, stocks. You write? Yeah, yeah, I want to write for the movies. Goodfellas, shit like that. Come on, Chrissy, don't answer. You should not in. I have to. It's football season. Oh, come on. There's no game tonight. Paulie, what's up? Forget that betting, Paula. I was making cheese dogs for you. Why? What's going on? Okay. All right. I'll be there. Chrissy! And plus, it was a bitch getting off of work tonight. Shh, Adriana. I think this could be it. What? He told me to look sharp and meet him at Models in half an hour. He told me to shine my shoes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Christopher. Buy me a shirt and tie to go with this. Not the camellia, though. Know. Paulie's got one just like it. I can't believe it. I mean, I knew it would happen, but... So, so now can we get out of here? You know? Get a big loft, maybe? You're giving notice today. You wish. The wife of a made guy doesn't host this. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Christopher. You better. What? I don't know. You getting called like this and going off all happy. I'm worried, that's all. You've seen too many movies. <laughs> I don't care to. No, no, no. Right up front. Where we going? You look good. Shoot your cuffs. Where we going, Sil? Oh, here he is. This is it. <laughs> All right. He sat on one ass cheek the whole way over. <laughs> so many fucking movies. That's his problem. Bullshit I sat for. <laughs> Maybe you're feeling guilty. I don't see that. Why would I? Because he's a friend of yours and you're cuckolding him. Cuckolding is when a man has an affair with another's wife. She's not his wife anyway. She's just Goma. And therefore has no status, whatever. Gomas have status. I mean, it's not like in the old days when a man had a, a wife and then sort of a second wife. Used to be the men would take out their wives on Fridays and their Gomas on Saturdays. Or maybe it's the other way around. You sleep? A little. So where the fuck you been? Christopher, we need to talk. I asked you a question, Adriana. I know. There's something I need to tell you, though. It's that fucking Bobby DeMarco? No. Please, Christopher. I'm gonna get through this. About a year ago? More, maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know. I was arrested. For what? What are you talking about? For drugs. Where? At the club? Remember my friend Danielle? She set you up? She was an FBI agent, Christopher. <sighs> she lied to me. They wanted to arrest you, too, Christopher. I was just trying to protect you. 
They said all they wanted was some information, and they would leave us alone. I didn't tell them nothing. I swear to God, I just license plates, some other stupid shit. They wanted me to wear a wire, but I wouldn't do it. But, 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 but now there, there was a murder, Christopher, and, and they know about it. At the club, Matouche and some other guy, and I, I tried to cover it up. But I had no choice. They've been filming us in the parking lot. For that, you know that? What did you do? How could you fucking do this to us? I fucking loved you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, what are we gonna do?